Hello everyone, James S. Casted here, and it's time for another M blog. That's right, the Naruto blog, where you get to ask me questions about the manga, and I try to the best of my ability to answer those questions in a non-biased view. Even though I am tending a little biased here and there, but I try to do the best I can. Who isn't biased at this point in time? You know. That being said, I do have uh, something new this week. I actually have someone that submitted a topic. For once, somebody actually answered a que asked a question to my Embla, so um, I would like to actually discuss this one with you. This is from Inferno, um, and Inferno 180 to be more exact. He's a somewhat of a friend, somewhat of a friend of mine, acquaintance that I know from the the Heaven and Earth forum, and he wants to talk about presentation. And what does he mean by this? Is how these pairings are presented to us, the reader while reading this manga. Um, I'm going to read what he uh, what he has written here. The one thing I think is maybe overlooked at by the fandom is the aspect of presentation. I mean, like, given how the manga was written with NH and especially SS, well, it's that if Kishi's... if it is Kishimoto's intent to make these two pairings canon, he's doing a very bad job. I say this to a lot of others, mainly because it, in a... In any basic plot, there has to be, well, not only development, but some shape or formation for said subplot factors to form together and present some kind of end result or event. And he has a good point here. Um, presentation is key on this. Whenever you're telling a story, you have to have a cause and effect. You have to have a starting point and an ending point. If there is no starting point, you cannot justify the ending point. There's always a beginning, a middle, and an end. It's basic writing. Um, however, you know, a lot of people are making these assumptions about this manga, but there's not really anything backing that up. When it comes to the pairing wars, however, you know, everything the way everything is set up, especially for the pairing wars, Narasaku seems to be the one that is the most succinct. You've heard me use that word before. It means something that has a completeness of a story. So it has a beginning, has a middle, and has an end to it. Narasaku, even though there's no ending yet, Narasaku has the one that most succinct. There's a beginning where there's this girl, girl and there's, there's this boy, and this boy loves this girl, but this girl thinks he's annoying and a jerk and stuff like that and whatever. That's fine. Late throughout the story, you see them developing, getting closer. You see the girl start taking interest in the boy, and then the boy continuing to... Uh, try to go out with her, or maybe flirt a little with her, or anything of that sort. You know, sometimes he gets, be sometimes he's stupid to the come on. Sometimes uh, he's a little bit, you know, one tracked mind. But you know, it, it's it's a story. What do you want? Uh, but you see, you see this development play out on the manga panels. Now, a lot of people are not going to agree with this, but uh, this is how it is. Um, However, when it comes to like Naruhina or Sasasaku, there's very or there's very little development and no presentation whatsoever. There's there's nothing there's nothing to present it that these two pairings are going to happen. Yes, there are moments, don't get me wrong. There are moments of, you know, Naruto and Hinata, you know, going hand in hand, Karen caring about each other, but these are just sporadic moments. They don't really flow into anything that well, do they? There's not really some starting point where you say to yourself, hmm, here's the boy and he's taking interest in this girl, or he's starting to notice this girl or anything like that. No, you don't see that. Um, you mostly see it from Hanata's point of view, but there's still not enough there. I mean, yeah, every time Hanata's on screen, she thinks about Naruto, and it borderlines obsession, but that's just a personal opinion. But anyway, you see that with her, but you don't see that with Naruto much. You don't see him, you know, thinking about her and anything more than a friendly type. He does care about her, but then again, Naruto cares about everybody. So it's really hard to say what his feel true feelings about Hinata really are. But, as I said, what, it, what is presented here is nothing more than a friendly, platonic way. Meanwhile, it has been expressed several times throughout the manga that Naruto is in love with Sakura, and Sakura is showing some kind of feelings with him. This is all 
This is all the data we've ever collected throughout the entire manga history. This includes the data books that make reference to it. These include the movies. Uh, these include the um, the actual manga itself. Things from Kishimoto. Things talked about from Kishimoto about these uh, you know pairings stuff like that. Now there was an interview where Kishi says he wasn't really trying to play for the romance art, but I guess he could make a you know he he says I guess one pairing will make it canon. So. Well, if that is true, Kishimoto, if you are intending to have w- at least one pairing become canon, well, if that is NH and SS, you're not doing a good job expressing that. You're not showing us the development between these two characters. Sasasaku, however, is even less than Naruhina. I mean, you know how I said that Naruhina has very few moments and they're very sporadic? Sasasaku has even less of those moments and even less presentation. In fact, the Every time they do have a so-called moment, it usually deals the opposite, or it is presented as something very much uh, going against them being together. All you know, on the whole, look at Sasuke, who you know, who's never really had interest in a female. He's never really had an interest in Sakura. He has insulted Sakura on several occasions. He has expressed how he finds her annoying. He does express how he doesn't really care about her. And he has expressed that nobody else really matters. He has, however, expressed his bond with Naruto and expressed his bond with his brother. Now, if that is a presentation of anything, this could indicate that Sasuke is in love with Naruto and not Sa- Sakura. I'm just saying, but, uh, you know, I don't know if that's true, but I'm just saying it off of presentation. Uh, there is somewhat of a presentation where Sasuke is cared about Karen, and I know people hate this. I know people hate Sasuke Karen with a passion. I know you do. However, facts are facts. He's the only girl he's expressed any care whatsoever. Now, it's very hard for Sasuke to express those kind of feelings, and it's very rare to express those kind of feelings, and he's only shown care for Karen. Now, some could argue that there have been scenes here and there, part one, or these sporadic moments, but I don't feel it. I mean, when I look at these panels of Sasuke holding up Sakura, or these panels of, like, him catching her in midair or something like that, you know, from part one or something like that, I don't feel it from him. He doesn't have a loving atmosphere around him. It's not like Naruto, who's that plucky, you know wacky character that has a heart of gold that you know, that you know when you saw him, whatever he feels it is that pure um, now Kishimoto has expressed that Sasuke is pure in what he feels oh, fair enough okay, if that was your intent, fair enough but, you know, if that is true then, you're, again you're doing a horrible job if your intention is Sasasaku um, it goes even more without saying that Sasuke and Sakura do not have a great relationship. It never was great. It never will be great. And since we're coming to the end of the manga, how could you even justify them getting together now? How could you even? I mean, everyone bases off of that, oh, Sakura loves Sasuke. That's great and all, but there's no chemistry between them. There's nothing. The presentation is flat. There's no... There's no connection between them. There's Sasuke doesn't really care about her. There's no heartfelt thing between them both. But you you feel that with Naruto and Sakura. You see Sakura getting upset over Naruto and worrying about him. You see Naruto getting upset over Sakura and worrying about her. You see that chemistry played out on panel. And on screen sometimes, depending on what you're looking at. Sometimes in the anime, you see it. You see them play that out. Um, now the anime is not a really good choice for presentation because when it comes to fillers, yeah, they kind of play more to the Narahina scene, which, you know, they have admitted them to Hinata fans, so you want, you know, there's no question why they do this. You understand why they do this. But we're going to go off the manga because that is the real source. I just don't feel it between uh, Sasuke and Sakura. There's nothing really there holding it together. It seems like a very... If they did get together, it would seem like a very abusive relationship. And I know what people are like, well, Sakura abuses Naruto all the time. No, because you're taking a context out of it. Um, You think that Sakura hitting Naruto is abusive, but, you know, he's fine. He he gets back up seconds later. That's not abuse, it's comedy. It's played for laughs. You could tell by their expressions how it is presented. 
to you where these characters are acting, you know, overexpressive and stuff like that. So you have to pay attention to the context of the scene, especially when it's you know, when it's, it's presented on a panel that it is supposed to be meant for comedy. If it really was meant for abuse, you see Naruto, you know, start being bruised and beaten and bloody. And then he gets up and he has to be bandaged and medic and stuff like that. Which, you know, it has to, that actually has happened with one girl that he's talked to. That one, um, that one, I think it was a sand villain. No, not the sand villain. It's the one, um, one of a- A's people, I think, wasn't it? Anyway. Uh, but yeah, Naruhina, going back, um, Sasasako has last, Naruhina has something, I mean, I wouldn't say it's a, it's, it is a succinct kind of presentation, but there's something more than Sasasako, but something much less than Narasaku in terms of presentation on how these, uh, pairings are presented. Naruhina is just, it's too all over the place, it, there's nothing really connect, there's, um, they're connected, but they're not that's strongly connected. I don't see... Again, like I said, I don't see Naruto saying he loves Hinata. I don't see him, you know, really getting that close with Hinata. Especially when they hardly ever hang out. And... It's... It's uh, it's a real... It's a real thing. You have to pay attention to these details. And don't get me wrong... If Hinata was on Team 7 and she had all that interaction, then of course I would say Naruhina has a good chance of being canon. I, of course I would. You know, because they that's because that's their interaction. Um, but you have Narasaku and, together and Naruto and Sakura interacting, uh, going about their daily lives, even, even whether during mission or during off time, you see them interacting. You see them you know, concerned about each other. You see them playing with each other sometimes. You even see them playing jokes on each other sometimes. Or uh, <laughs> or just having a good time with each other. Not like that, you perverts, but you know what I'm saying. You, you, could, you could see where the relationship is. You could feel it almost when you read each panel of them. Whenever they have a feeling with each other, you could, you could see it. You could feel it. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with this. Oh, they feel it with Hinata too. Naruto cares about Hinata. You could see it. You could see it in his eyes. No, I see it in Hinata's eyes. I see her love struck in her eyes. I see her so blind and narrow vision for Naruto, but I don't see that with with Naruto himself. I don't see him say, Oh, Hinata's the best girl ever. I want to be with her. That's never presented on screen. And if there is, please tell me what chapter and what panel. Show me anywhere in the manga where Naruto has expressed being in love with Hinata at all. Go ahead, you know, just just shoot me a panel, shoot me a page, shoot me a chapter. I'll look it up myself if I have to, you know. But from far as I concern, and I've been reading this manga for over ten years, I've never seen that. You have maybe the pain arc where he's lost it, and you have maybe the... Uh, you know, 615, which is the closest you've ever seen something like that, but it's not quite there yet. And again, there's too, there's too much of a span in between them where nothing occurs between them. You don't see Naruto going back to Hinata after her confession and expressing something with her or saying to her, you know, maybe we're on all the sense done, maybe we should have a long talk and kind of thing. It, you know, you never see that. You don't. You don't see that whatsoever, but you have... Later down the road, you have him expressing to Sai how he can't tell Sakura how he feels because he can't keep his promises. You have him expressing to his father, like, yeah, we're kind of boyfriend and girlfriend, you know? And he says it with a serious face. He's not joking. It's not a joke to him. I don't see where that joke is. You know, he's just kind of happy. And his father, you know, his father can see it when the characters can see it in the manga itself. When they can lampshade it, that should send you up an even bigger flag right there. When you have characters, you know, expressing that these two are going to get together. These two, you know, are shown together. I mean, I believe um, one of his frog summons says, I forget the name. Sorry, I apologize. I can't remember his name right now. But he mentions that with the with the pinky, which is representing love. Or that red string, if you know that, you know, that myth. Um, you have the uh, Minato making a, uh, making a observation about, oh, are you his girlfriend? You have Shikamaru in the beginning of part two making that mention as well. 
And you ha- you really you really have to look at that. What is Kishi trying to say with those kind of se- scenes? What do you, what are you trying to say when you have Sakura, you know, caring about Naruto so deeply that she's trying to keep him alive, saying, "I want to keep your dream alive." That's that's strong emotions that people keep forgetting. And I wish they wouldn't. I wish they would actually look at these as something much more serious than they are. Um, but the presentation is... I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, a lot of Naruhina fans and Sasusaku fans want to keep saying that their pairing still has a chance or it's more canon than ever and something like that, but... I don't know. I, I, there's so many things... Even if it's not a direct answer, there's so many things that go against the Naruhina and Sasasaka of parent. Look at the, what Kakashi said about Sakura and how her feelings have changed ever since part one. Now, in part one, she has expressed several times that she has lo- she was in love with Sasuke and that she wanted to be with him, and that was her dream. You know, and then Kakashi remembers that and says, those feelings kind of changed now, haven't they? I mean, they're not... They're not they're not the same anymore. They change. You still care about him, but it's not the same kind of love. What does that tell you? I mean, you can't be more in love with somebody. You can't be. You can't just be more in love than somebody than you were back then. You're either in love with somebody or you're not. Um. So that becomes an issue, and you got more issues of uh, how many people express how. Sakura is still kind of fangirl over Sasuke and stuff like that, and she's never done that. Uh, in fact, she's cared more about Naruto in the past, I don't know, 100 chapters than she has um, anybody else. And it, she, as she, it, she's cared more about Naruto than she has Sasuke, and Sasuke's been there the whole time. It, it's really, really sad that people are just missing so much because they put their bias on... They put this bias glasses on and they're viewing this manga ignoring all these details that is presented to them it's it's really obvious i mean i know you guys are not stupid i know you guys are smart enough to comprehend this but you guys are not viewing this right and when i say you guys i mean everyone but the narasaka fan base by the way and i know what people are gonna say oh you're just a biased fan yourself yeah, but there's a reason why I got into Narasaka. I've said many times that I used to be a Narahina fan, and it was because after I saw the development between these two characters when I became a Narasaka fan. Do you understand? Do you, when I when I saw how close these two characters really are, without looking at you know, while really looking at it. I could tell these two characters are going to be together, and they're going to have a long history with each other. Now that Sasuke's out of the picture, they've had a lot more time together. And now that when Sasuke comes back in, well, Sakura has changed her mind about him. She's changed her heart about him. She still cares about him deeply, don't get me wrong, but it's not, she doesn't want to be with him anymore. She doesn't love him anymore like that. And it's it's silly to think that she still does. Especially when there's so many presentations where it, it goes against it. When you see Sakura care more about Naruto and less about Sasuke. When Kakashi makes observations like that. And Kakashi's been there since the beginning. Kakashi's just followed... He's basically been... He's the te- He is their teacher. He's followed them since they were that young. So he should know better than anybody else. But why do you doubt him? Why all of a sudden doubt Kakashi now... Because you guys are biased. You don't want to admit that Sakura's gotten over, you know, Sasuke. You don't want to admit that maybe that she has feelings for Naruto now. You don't want to admit that anymore. You don't want to admit that Naruto does not see Hinata that way. And I I try to play fair. I try... When 6.15 came out, I tried to be fair. I tried to say to myself, Look... This is a chance, if 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 Naruhina is going to be canon, this is the chance for them to catch up. This is where you could have Naruto change his heart, or begin to change his heart, and then downhill from there, kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? But it didn't. 
he hasn't changed his heart. He hasn't expressed that he loves her any more than he loves Neji as a friend, or how he loves Sasuke as a brother. You know, there's there's nothing beyond that. So I really hope that when people read the manga, they truly read it for what it is, and they make and they look at the context of the scenes. Because if you're just gonna look at this with bias, if you're just gonna put on your pair and goggles and think I'm gonna ignore everything that isn't have to do that doesn't have to do with Narahina or Sasasaku or whatever your fandom is to, then you can't complain when it does not happen because there are obvious signs it's not going to happen i know i know narasaku is not canon yet but i'm just basing this off an educated guess from what is presented to me throughout this story okay if sasasaku and narahina had a better presentation maybe i would have given it more merit and i've seen better presentation from other pairings i've seen the uh, real love triangle between characters i've seen that i've seen uh, a character don't know whether they should be with one or the other and you see that within the characters they express it all the time that's not the case with Naruto. That is the case with Sakura, though. There have been scenes where she has conflicted feelings about Naruto and Sasuke, and slowly she's been going more towards Naruto. She's starting to understand that Sasuke is not that good for her. And she's the only character to do this. You don't see Naruto deciding Sakura or Hinata. You don't see Sasuke deciding Sakura or Karen. You don't see that. There's That is never presented on panel. And if it has, tell me where, what panel, what page, what volume because I would love to see this and please let let it be an actual moment don't sit here and tell me oh that's my interpretation of the scene that's not good enough okay I want a factual evidence where you see the character's lampshade that confliction okay otherwise it's too ambiguous okay now I, I again I've you know, I've been up and down with this war with the pairing wars because you've had you have we've had three major moments here with this with Hinata's confession, Sakura's confession, this the interaction with Sasuke and Sakura and her crying over him uh, later down the road with six fifteen and other stuff like that. But again, looking back at it, Narahina didn't really move any farther or closer away from being canon, and Sasuke has just been going downhill even se- ever since. When you have Sasuke saying that, I don't really give a shit about anybody else but me and you, Naruto, and I only saved them because you were standing next to them and you know this to be true, then you have that has to raise something with you. That has to wa- raise awareness. Kishimoto said that he is going to make one pairing canon, not two. Not three, he said one. Which one do you think is more likely to occur? Hmm? Not not Sasusaku. That's leaving f- three other pairings out. Not Narahina. Again, that's leaving more pairings out. Narasaku is the only one that makes sense at this point in time. Is the only one. And... I really hope people can understand why we think this is. That presentation of them getting together on the entire manga is really important. And I feel a lot of people miss out on this. I really do. In favor of either a biased viewpoint, or they refuse to accept it, or whatever. You know, whatever your reason is. Um, it's There's a saying where people only see what they want to believe and that is true that is very true because if you're not looking for it if you refuse to see it you're never going to see it um i think i pretty much covered all i could say about this subject i mean there's not really much else i can't really convince you to look at my way but i hope if a little bit you can at least understand where I'm coming from, what I see. Even if you disagree, I hope you can at least see what I, what I, to understand what I am, I am seeing or what anybody else is seeing. 
okay? I tried to look at this from a Naruhina and Sasasaka point of view. I tried, okay? I really did. I can't see it. I'm sorry, I don't. I can't see them getting together and being a successful pairings. I can't see them because Sasuke's too too much of a loner and Hinata and Naruto has never expressed love for Hinata whatsoever and we just can't base it off of simple caring, okay? Because Naruto, uh, especially for Naruto, because Naruto cares about everybody. Um, it's not just one person he cares about. If he only cared about Hinata and that's it, that would be completely out of character of him and I think we all know this. Um... So, at least try to understand where we are coming from with this. Because that's all I ask of you. Anyway, I'm James S. Cassian. This has been another M blog. And hopefully, hopefully, this week's chapter will come out sooner and not later. And we can actually have a podcast this week. Because the way things are looking, we may not have a podcast till next week. Till then, I'll see you around.